Three shoulders tonight in game three. No Kevin Durant. Clay Thompson, game time decision. So far, Steph has been uh, solid, you could say, in the first two games. Averaging nearly 29 points, and of course, he's a big favorite to be named Finals MVP. Chris Broussard back with us. Chris, put some perspective into this conversation for us. How important is tonight to Steph's legacy? I, I don't think we should overstate it because it's game three. Mm -hmm. If he's pretty good tonight, but then great the rest of the series, or if he's just not that good it, and they lose, but he's great the rest of the series and they win, I don't think we'll think about game three. If he's great tonight and then mediocre the rest of the way and they lose or win, what he did tonight isn't going to have a huge impact. So, look, if he's horrible tonight and then they go on to maybe lose the next few games and lose the series, then I think people may look at him a little differently. But it's only game three. There's so much basketball left to be played that I think we have to take that into consideration. Um, this is an opportunity for him to add to the Steph lore, mm -hmm. where the 40-point game in 2016, mm -hmm. when he's right back from the knee injury against Portland. Yep. You know, the 36-point average against Portland in the last series, the 33-point second half against mm -hmm. Houston. Like, this is an opportunity to have one of those nights mm -hmm. that we remember when we're talking about Steph Curry in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, however, I got to admit, like, I remember his second MVP season when he was unanimous MVP and was just lighting the world on fire. I asked a basketball legend, a basketball lifer who was a player, a coach. He's been everything. Everybody would know him. I don't want to say his name. If Steph, I said, is Steph the best player in the world? He laughed at me because he was like, no, he's like, you hide him on defense. He can't control it on that side of the floor. And so my point is, I'm not looking at Steph to do what a LeBron James can do, even what a Kawhi Leonard or a Kevin Durant could do. Like, if Kevin Durant was in this situation where no Steph, no Clay, I still would feel like he might go, you know what I mean? He like, they got a chance, right? Or if it was LeBron or Kawhi. Because essentially, even without Clay and KD, you're talking about one superstar Steph against one superstar Kate, uh, Kawhi and a bunch of good players around him, right. role players. And that this shows why those guys probably are better than Steph. No matter what he does and, mm -hmm. and his legacy and how great of a shooter he is and how many championships, he can't control it on the other side of the court. And I think some of it's size. Like, how many small players have ever been able to just control a series. Isaiah Thomas, obviously, the legend, was tremendous. He and Steph are the only two small guys to even lead a team to a championship. Right. But even when Isaiah was doing it, Dumars was great in those finals. Dumars had re he was Steph's, he was Isaiah's Clay Thomas. Thompson. Yeah. And he was, he was a finals MVP. He, right, he was a finals MVP the first year they won it. So he was always great there. Allen Iverson, we saw him do it for a game against right. Shaq and Kobe right. when they won game one, but never won a title, obviously. So I don't know if some of it's size, the defensive liabilities, but I just don't expect him to be able to take over the game like I would expect a KD, a LeBron, or a Kawhi mm -hmm. Leonard to do. Mm. You stole all my points because I, this is my exact Good, statement. then I'll talk. <laughs> oh, I, you know what? It's good, for real, though. No, I mean, just to echo what he said, mm. because I don't think it's that big of a deal because it's game mm. three. And there's more series to play, and he can play bad, mm. and they can still recover. But if he plays like a goofball, and then they turn around and lose this there series. we go with that goofball again. We're going yeah. to we're gonna, we're gonna remember this game. But Sorry. the notion, but the only thing I want to push back on, this notion that Steph Curry has been small in the, play, uh, in the playoffs or the finals it's not true. Right. So it is true. I want to track. No, I tracked it. So what I did is I didn't want to go back to when he first got into the league and they didn't make the playoffs and all that. I went back to when he first made the playoffs, the 2012-2013 mm -hmm. season. Yep. In the regular season, this is what he's averaged, 25.6, 7 assists. Mm. In the NBA Finals, he's averaged 25.6 and 6 assists. Mm. He dropped off a cliff. Go ahead, Skip. And you said he's got a higher scoring average in the Finals than what? Bird, Bird Kareem. Kobe. Kareem, Kobe, and D. Wade. Mm. Every key number I have on my list in his career, regular versus post, the, the playoffs are a little down. Little down in all, every category. So he hasn't played like a two-time MVP in the playoffs. And maybe that's because playoffs dictate you In the finals you or the playoffs? playoffs, the, whole, playoffs the whole playoffs? Yeah. And I still can't get over the games five, six, and seven 
against your your man yeah. in 2016. That was horrendously bad. And again, in those three games, he shot 37% from the field and 36% from three. He's, he's like a 50% three-point shooter. And that was a dramatic fall. And then we get all the way to game seven, and he shot six for 19 in his house. This is it. This is, this is for your legacy. And he was four or 14 from three, and we get to the fourth quarter with the game on the line, and he goes one of six from the field and one of five from three and has the crucial turnover where he whips it behind his back, fourth row. That, that really opened the floodgates right. for your guys to have the bicycle built for two block and, and the chase down, right? <laughs> yeah, and it was done. Yeah. No, no. yeah. And finally, that Kyrie, was clear of the year, if I'm, Kyrie I'm not ended that. Yeah, Kyrie ended that game. So, tonight to me is the biggest game of Steph Curry's career because Klay Thompson is either not going to play at all, to your point, first time ever that the, he would be without Clay. Or Clay is going to be somewhat limited. He's just going to be limited, especially on defense, maybe even on offense. This is his night to rise and shine. This is his series to take over because we will see some box and one. So you have to say, hmm, I got this. I I'm going to destroy the box and one because th they won game two in spite of Steph Curry. That, that was a pretty miserable performance by his yeah, he standards. He wasn't very good. He wasn't very good. And then again, I'm going to say it one more time. If you play eight minutes down the stretch, you go 0 for 0 from the field, 0 for 0 from the line, and from the 537 mark down to seven seconds, you go eight straight possessions without scoring a point. Your team does, and you're the point guard, and you have zero assists in the whole fourth quarter. That, that's He's getting a pass that nobody has leaped on that, and the reason he's getting a pass is because they survived without him, mm -hmm. right? They survived because Andre Iguodala, a 33% three uh, three-point shooter, said, I got this. Because when the money's on the table, that guy's going to do it. When the money was on the table, 20, what was the first finals? 2015. 2015. When they won. Yeah. 2015. Yeah. And again, you and I have gone back and forth. He turned the whole series around on defense and on offense. And you say, well, Steph's numbers say he should have been the MVP, but in impact, Iggy should have been MVP. Just in defense, offense, impact. It was LeBron's series to win. Remember, game four is in LeBron's house. They're up two games to one. I thought he was going to do it. Mm -hmm. I thought he was going to put his team on his back with no Ke uh, uh, Kevin Love and no Kyrie right. and just take them home because he was on. that was the best I've ever seen LeBron play for three games. Did he run out of gas? I don't, I don't know what happened, but he shot seven of 22 when they put Iggy on him, and they'd done it a little bit at the end of game three, but game four, Iggy took him out of that game. So he deserved to be MVP. So Steph doesn't even have one MVP to his credit, and tonight he has an opportunity with no Kevin Durant, and this is just me, heart of hearts, gut feeling, I believe Steph Curry does not want Kevin Durant to return because he can finally make a statement once and for all I can do it without that guy. But, but, let me, but let me ask you this, Skip. Let's just say for the sake of argument, he dropped 45 in game three, okay. and they lose. What does that change in people's minds? Okay, but you would think if he drops 45, they're going to win that game. That's but, what I would think. I, I, it still would be tough. Yes. Even if he has 45, if, if got, nobody you, else steps you, you, you just up. You just Golden State. Because yeah. I'm thinking Draymond and if I could Cousins will play well, Steph's too. If I Steph's going to have 45, you'd say, I got this by 15. I right? wouldn't say that. No. I, I, if he has no? 45 and Draymond and Boogie don't play well or Quinn Cook can't hit a three, they could still lose. Hey, the impact of his 45 points, that's the one thing I disagree with whoever the Hall of Famer was that right. you talked his three-point impact is so severe, especially at home, where he's revolutionized, uh, uh, revolutionized the game and the impact of that shot because he shoots them from 10 feet right. beyond the line. Right. And now and you got more guys that's copying That's what I'm that. saying. But at Oracle, it feels like the ceiling falls in mm -hmm. on the visiting team when he makes four of those 30-foot yeah. shots. I right? do agree his impact on the game for his team and just the league and the game itself has been incredible but for some reason, I feel like he needs other guys. He needs some help, though. Like, again, I don't, like what LeBron did in 2015, just taking over with Matthew Della Vadova and, and all these. Okay. I don't see Steph being able yeah, to do no. that. Even though he has arguably more impact on the game than LeBron when he's, his when, team when, is around him. Hey, when, when because he's going, right. he has huge impact. Right. But we've it's never seen that without Clay and Draymond. We have not. Now, maybe he'll... He'll show something tonight that I and, haven't and seen. And by the way, 
you do have to quote unquote hide him on defense, but that year he won the unanimous MVP. He led the league in steals. Mm -hmm. So you got to give him that. He right? gets steals okay. and he's a smart and, yeah. and willing well, he plays, defender. Yeah, he like he tries. Late, yeah. Right. Okay. But I, you know, I, I just don't. And I, look, I think a lot of people, like you're saying, Skip, if they win this championship and he doesn't get the finals MVP, a lot of people will hold that against him. So I, I think he needs it for the naysayers. But I do think finals MVPs are overrated. I mean, Kareem only won two out of his six okay. championships. Okay, but this is it. This is his opportunity to shine. Yeah, with no he, KD, he, hey, he has to hey, get it. He just played the greatest stretch of his career, Steph did, in the last quarter in the last game against Houston, Houston. game six, and then those four against Portland. Yeah. I've never seen him play better at a higher level than in those sort of five and a quarter and games. And he was good right? in game one, even though they okay. lost okay. in the finals. Got it. Now... This is it. They're a little shorthanded, if not a lot shorthanded. And if, if they win the game tonight, they could break Toronto's will. Because Toronto hasn't done this before, even though they got playoff experience. But if Steph just shoots them right in the heart tonight, then game, all of a sudden you can say, put Kevin on the back burner, right? We, we don't really need Kevin in game four. Well, if Steph takes over games three and four, well, he's... He's on course to run away with finals right. MVP. He's the favorite now, right? right. Yeah. So right. this is his moment. Rise or fall, sink or swim. But Draymond and Boogie lurking, though. Okay. No, no like, look, if I had to pick Golden State's MVP right now, I would give it slightly to Steph because the game one, he was really good, even though they lost. But Draymond would be right there. Okay, so tell Draymond me this. Would be if right Steph Curry tonight does exactly what he did in game two, six of 17 and three of 10 from three, who wins the game? Toronto. Okay. Thank I you. Agree. So oh, that's yeah. how big a deal this is for Steph Curry. He needs to be big. This but is his night. It's just more and games again, to be played. We heard that Kevin yesterday, according to Steve Kerr, is ramping up his he re rehab. I watch, I'm watching Kevin walk. He ain't ramping up nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like he need a ramp to get up a step. A pair, a, Maybe. A, a pair of stairs. Okay, stairs I'll, or I'll buy that, which is why I think Steph needs, he, he in, his, <clears throat> in his heart of hearts, he doesn't want Kevin to come back now because he knows that the public viewed it as he just said no mas after they blew the 3-1 lead. Mm -hmm. He publicly said, we need that guy, right? right? I, but I don't think he's like that because I think if he was like that, he wouldn't have wanted KD in the first place. Well, he... I, right? Well, why would you? If, if you're that guy, if this is your town and your team, why, why would you want to go get another But that's what I'm saying. So if he wanted him in the first place, you're saying now all of a sudden he's like, nah, I don't want him back. Okay, but... Well, he, like he's, he's had a change what, what, of what heart? He's, what he's hearing is that, yeah... KD joined, but KD got you guys over the hump because you weren't going to beat Cleveland without him. And, it, and everybody's looking like, well, dude, you the, you, you the unanimous MVP, and you get out of your nice car and ride in the passenger seat to let KD right. drive? Right. Well, he did. They, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. I mean, okay. And oh, we, now, he was their leading scorer this year. Yeah. Don't forget that. Yeah. Okay, but this is, this is the time. This is the final. Yeah, this is okay? it. Okay, let's see. Because even though I will admit this, his numbers in the finals are great. So he has played well. Yeah. He doesn't disappear like a lot of people say. But you don't, he hasn't had a, a ton of takeover moments. Yeah, yeah he in the that impact, like, that right. impact game. Like, because the game he scores 30, Kevin Durant has 35. Right. Or the game he scores 20, Kevin Durant has 32. Or LeBron James has one of those historic. So you're like, damn, Steph played well, but. Ooh. Or even this series, he's averaging what, 29? Yeah. But he wasn't very good in games. Okay, two. what do you have him tonight? Steph Curry has what? You got Golden State. I got Golden State. I would say you have probably, I will say 28, 7, and 8. Okay, I think he needs more than that if you guys are going to be right. I think he needs 30-plus to win. Yeah. For him to win. With Clay, with or without Clay? Or bo even, uh, Clay. even or. Okay, because you think Clay's going to play yeah. and play well. Yeah. With, if Clay plays well, then I, 28 yeah. is enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chris, thank you so much for being here again with us. Always a pleasure. One Baton Rouge guy to another, <laughs> Odell Beckham Jr. Is he finally going to find some happiness in Cleveland? Mm. That's up next. I did. <laughs>